So for your report, to install it, the process is pretty simple. You can go to this link. Right, uh, this link, uh, if you open it, gives you a different ways to install Allure on different system. If you're Linux, do this. If you're Mac, if you install Allure. And if you are in Windows, open PowerShell and do scoop install Allure. Uh, I have already done that. Uh, scoop install Allure, PowerShell, open PowerShell. And once scoop uh, install Allure is done and you type for scoop, you would see something like that. Just so once that is done, generation part is simple. Uh, when you run the report, let's say I run the report using Maven. So for that, uh, I can choose run as Maven build. And here I can give the command in test. Okay. okay, what thing is that? Why is that? Okay, I think we need to add plugins also. Okay, for more, do we have time for this? Like uh, configuration plugins and then a low report? Uh, okay. You can add it. Uh, yeah, you can add it uh, using the GitHub repo. Yeah. GitHub. Open the GitHub, it's already there. Yeah. In GitHub repo? Do you have a test ng XML uh, plugin also? I don't think so. We added that. We have added, I guess. Can added? you check out? Yeah. Okay. Yes. What's Work the workshop? Workshop. Workshop. So, form.xml. Last part. XML. Yes. So the configuration part is needed. I think let's copy the after the dependency build yeah. to build, right? So build to build after dependency. Uh, if it is done, now uh, we can create an XML file, right? This. It is test ng test ng create a test ng XML file. Uh, in XML file, we have integration test on um, should be one. And uh, let's run this. Is there any error? Okay, I think this is running. And uh, if everything works fine, you will see some uh, reports in LEO. Uh, what you need to do, just copy this path to see the report and uh, hit open CMD and do LEO serve this path. Uh, don't worry, guys. Instructions are already in the GitHub rep, so uh, everything is there. So now you can see the. We will also show. That. So this is how you yeah. can see. So right now you can not see multiple things related to Allure. So for that you just need to add some tags in your test. Uh, so in here, you can add multiple Allure tags like severity. Right, description. Always select the Allure one. QA meta dot Allure. Okay. 
Okay, and what else? Priority. What can we set up? So you can add a couple of more like epic story, anything related to like agile most. Yeah. Feature also. Feature, feature so, feature, also. so this is uh, repo feature, right? So uh, this is how you can do it. And now if you run this again uh, and then view the earlier report, you will see all these things in the report also. And uh, so there is a, also a tag called steps. So if you want uh, to log every step, uh, you can use step also. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Right. Let's yeah. So let's run it again. Right now, if you see this test case, you'd see all these CRT which we added everything. History etc. will be available when you run multiple transactions. Okay. I think this is all, right. all we have for frameworks. Mm -hmm. And let me quickly give you what I did. So earlier, if you saw, we had something which is not clear, right? There was uh, no logger here. So everything is added in terms of identifying which is which feature is this, what is the severity of this test case and etc. Uh, done through LAR. Okay, and then we updated all those test cases. Uh, we created all those classes in API constant. We added repo uh, endpoint because for now we actually creating a repo, right? But uh, as, like we have, if we have multiple endpoints, you keep on adding those endpoints here and you're gonna rip, uh, use these endpoints directly in your test classes. So uh, under dot post or dot put or dot patch, whatever you have, you can directly use this. We actually created a common spec, repo spec, uh, for having all the common functionality in base test, where we added base URI configuration or logger, header and everything. Okay, and uh, then to manage payloads, we have payload manager as a request payload. Here we can keep creating our payload using POJO model. And if it is having a more than 50 pages, I would suggest uh, JSON file methods. And so uh, we created a JSON POJO model here and modified the JSON using JSON. And once that is done, we use that in our integration test, right? Using request payload object, which we added in base test. And then two other things we added, uh, test ng assertions. For that, we created a class uh, assert actions. And since we are going to use it for API framework, uh, we modified the keywords using uh, to use our API related stuff like verify creation status code, verify bot response body. Right. And uh, for API actions, since we're going to need a lot of JSON path data, uh, we created a generic function. And then, uh, based on the parameter provided in get data JSON, we are getting it, uh, we, so we can get any kind of data, and that can it is that is used here, okay. Uh, while getting the name data, and then verification part, we are setting something before before our test case is running. So we are setting a name, and then once we sort set the name, we are getting the name and verifying that the name which we set initially is equal to the name we are getting after creating creating a repo. Similarly, you can keep adding. Uh, for your for your next assignment after this workshop, you can modify this and add the put patch and delete request. Okay, based on the same framework. I hope you guys can do it. If you face any issues, we are there. 